This video is about the history of the Texan Theater in Greenville, Texas, also known as the King Opera House. And there's a historical article posted on the building, so we're going to go check that out. But it's a nice old theater that's been restored. Here's some of the signs that were used to advertise the movies. And it uh, has lots of neon lights and signage and also uh, a ticket booth. So let's check out the historical marker. Uh, they also have this sign, uh, I guess, advertising events that take place here. And they also do private parties and things like that. I'll check this out more at the end of the video. And they have an award of distinction from the community. And they also have more movie theater signs. So anyhow, this is the plaque that's outside the building. And a picture, I guess, of a show that took place here years ago. Oh, sorry about that. I zoomed in too quickly. This is an article and I'll read it for you. The King Opera House was the center of early Greenville cultural life. John Philip Sousa, the Marx Brothers, and other famous performers entertained local audiences from its stage. William Jennings Bryan and Helen Keller lectured here, there. Hunt County's own John Bowles, often seen as Shirley Temple's movie father, and Metropolitan Opera baritone Mac Harrell began their careers, careers on the King stage. Originally built facing Lee Street in 1891, the King Opera House was rebuilt to face Wesley Street after a 1894 fire destroyed the original building. After a fire in 1898, the theater was dark until 1901, when it was rebuilt for a second time. Two balconies top the dress circle, or orchestra section, of the new 771-seat theater. The elegant interior boasted gold trim, a huge chandelier, and a Venetian scene painted on the main curtain. World War I's travel ban ended the Opera House's road shows. It was leased as a silent movie theater, but the arrival of the talkies spelled the end of the king's reign. Most of the building was raised in 1934. By that time, a number of movie houses enter entertained Gre Greenville patrons, including the Colonial, the Gym, the Ratio, the Rita, the Grand, and the Texan. Greens Greenville's Municipal Auditorium was built in 1939. The auditorium stage has featured a variety of performers from Elvis Presley and Duke Ellington to the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. And let's go ahead and check out the sign here of events at the theater. They have a number of events all throughout the year it looks like. So check them out on Facebook. And I'll pan around and show you some more of... There's more videos on this channel of Greenville, Texas, so be sure to check that out. There's history of Greenville and other things. Anyhow, be sure to check out the other videos about Greenville, Texas, and be sure to like and subscribe and share it with all your friends.